is here scumbag <laughs> pal tv yo we got <laughs> my my nigga man what's good baby boy boy your flash is in the building man my, my, you active <laughs> <laughs> like differently I, I see you roll, rolling around with my man smith back door movement definitely definitely but, keeping me busy before that i seen you on the drink champs and i'm like definitely my nigga dot com this guy's active <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, as far as, like, a lot of people always talk about the 90s and the old school hip-hop, I mean, I got a lot of that shit. 20 years later, nigga, I'm still popping off of that. So, I mean, it is what it is. Movement, times change, but if you're irrelevant, you're irrelevant. You're here. I mean, why still rap after 20 years? Like, you good? You're in a comfortable space, I would assume? I mean, me me personally, I think I never used hip-hop to pay my bills or... Say, yo, if I don't do a single, I ain't going to have no money. So it's always been a hobby or a sport or something I like. I mean, a lot of these artists that do come out, they they, they put their all into hip-hop. And then if nothing comes out of it, then now you got to go get a job. Now you got to switch your whole occupation up. But me, I never use hip-hop for no money. Hip-hop can't make me the money I make. Mm. And give a, like, a brief rundown of your history for the people out there, you know, because... But these new interviews now is getting you as a new artist, which ain't a bad thing. But just to let people know, you know who you are. I mean, I came, I came from you know '95 with Mike Geronimo from Flushing Queens. Mike Geronimo dropped his album Master I See, which had like 16 songs on it, and I was on like 13 of them. But then he had one called I'm So High, You So High, which I did the hook, which blew me out this world. And then I put my own single out, which was worldwide. Around the time, um, you know, L.A. was shitting on New York a little mm. bit. And and nobody really said nothing. I mean, Mob Deep and Nori and them threw something out. But to me, still, it wasn't direct. So I came out with my shit. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't even go at L.A. I more or less went at, like, Bad Boy and that type of music, like Biggie and them for just even letting them come through and do it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it should never happen in New York. Nobody should never step on our buildings. It's crazy. Yo, the, when Snoop stepped on them towers, I was like, <laughs> that, shit hurt. Shit. Oh, <laughs> that shit hurt. Oh, fuck. Like, that was some different level shit. Like, how the fuck did you get away with that? I mean, that's when I threw it worldwide out, you know, like in the verses. I go, keep your mind on <laughs> Queens when the dogs start barking. I say, you a boy, you ain't bad enough. And I said, niggas get shot with no evidence. So I was more talking mm. about bad boy. And I mean, if people don't know, I was talking about bad boy. And then after that, you know, I've been doing my grind. Being that I came out in that era of hip hop, I still, I'm still overseas. Like a lot of new acts still haven't seen the places I've been Africa, Tokyo, France, Japan, Belgium. I mean, there's no way I haven't traveled to perform my art or my work. So. I'm still in this game. I'm and that's why I tell people, like, fuck the new artists. Well, not fuck the new artists, but fuck the new artists. You got to work with, like, the ones that been around, that have a story, and that have records, because they could touch more people. Like, I can't push someone that has mm. one record, but if they have a catalog and a history, like, more people are going to know them. So when they're like, yo, you book Silk the Shock? I'm like, fuck yeah, I book this nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shock. I probably records. could sing 10 songs he, was, he, he do tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, I, I, get, mm -hmm. I feel what you're saying with that. Yeah, <laughs> Dabba, Dabba. Like, talk about, because you know, pal, he gets money overseas, and you mentioned mm -hmm. something. Like, wh what is that like? Because that that right there catapults artists into retirement. Like, not retirement, like, actively, but, like, financially now, they can pay for their kids to go to college mm -hmm. with the money they pay over there. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, I can go out there for a month straight and do 30 shows and get almost 15000 a show. So I mean, you you add you, you add that up, a nigga. Come home and he good for the year. Yeah, I booked fucking Pastor <laughs> Troy in Norway, my nigga. Pastor Troy. <laughs> yeah, Pastor <laughs> Norway. Applaud <laughs> it. This is crazy. Nah, it's like that now. I mean, 
Overseas is good. I mean, but you had to have good music. Like I said, when, when I came out, my I had to listen to fucking what Nas and Jay Z said and Raekwon said, and I and, and I had to try to be better than them type of artists. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, who the fuck? I ain't got no competition. <laughs> so, you start dumbing your shit down like these niggas are. You know what mm. I mean? There's no competition, man. Now, you linked up with my man Smith Backdoor Movement. Salute the King Bo in the building. Yes, They've been yes. shaking up the city differently, man. Yes. And, and they doing it their way. Street music, authenticity. What made that connection happen to where, you know, you got Smith, you got Bo, and you came along part of the Backdoor Movement? I mean, real recognize real. So yeah. we 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 definitely. I mean, first time we even talked, we met. I'm I'm kicking it with them, whatever. They came through to my session, did a song. We was doing a song, mm-hmm. and then I just called Smith and said, "You know what, man? I need management, man. I got I mean, you and Bold us. Let's sit down and make this team. I mean, cause that's that's what actually was missing with New York. A lot of niggas want to claim other shit, the music. Nah, it's, it's really the loyalty and the friendship, my nigga. Like. We don't have that. We, we just support system. Mm. You, you can't win nothing in this game without a support system. That's so true. You know what I'm saying? Man. A pitcher can't win baseball without an outfielder or a nigga that's on, on first base. You need your whole support mm-hmm. system. And hip-hop is a support system that we're lacking New York. Because I can go to Atlanta. It could be MC Nobody and I'll see T.I., I'll see Jeezy, I'll see, I'll see the whole fucking Atlanta. A nigga from New York will come out with a song and a nigga won't even play it or even show up or even listen to it. You know what I mean? I mean, because, like, you know, I lived down south for a little bit and that system is different because you could be pumping the gas at a fucking Winn-Dixie or a Publix and then you the illest <laughs> nigga <laughs> next week. <laughs> next week. Wow. And I've always said, True. in my personal opinion, because of that system, dudes are afraid to be like, I can't shit on XYZ because... I always heard a story about, I think, TLC and Ludacris, how he tried to holler at them and they played them. And then when the tables turned, he's like, fuck out of here. I don't know how true it is, but. I believe you know. it. I mean, when I came out, I went to Atlanta. I was, I was sitting here and I was doing an interview and it was Ludacris. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He worked at the radio station. That's who did the interviews. So you couldn't shit. But when, when, like I said, when you got a system, you see how you, you a New York act won't shit on the whole Atlanta because you don't know who you got to deal with because you know that system's strong. Uh, another artist from New York a shit on a nigga that lived next door to him. You know what I mean? No For no you know, reason. You know, no reason. It was a Lucy. It broke. Sorry. Yo. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. But a nigga come at you for something so nonsense in New York. But me, I'm, I'm, I'm a different... Because in the summer, I'm in every hood. I'm at every barbecue. I show my face. You know what I'm saying? I make my presence felt. Because for a lot of artists that did come out in my time, ain't too many left. Mm. 20 years you've been in this game actively. Yes. Like, you've seen it. So from mid-'90s to now, like, what, what are some of the things you enjoy that you, you're amazed to see? And what are some of the things you're like, how the fuck is this happening? <laughs> Um, I start off with the bad. I think yeah. how the fuck is this happening is fucking internet. Mm. How the fuck? I mean, I love technology. I guess things got to change and, and, and elevate, but that shit there made it easy for the cowards, man. It gave you like a shield wow. to hide behind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Fuck going outside. I'm going to tweet this nigga. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But before that shit, if you knew I was at a party, you wasn't going to show because your punk ass going to stay home that night. Mm. So you, so you, your cowardness was, was shown. Now these niggas got a shill, man. The internet's a shill for a lot of people. For a lot. A nigga could be retarded and get a million motherfucking hits. A nigga could put out a hot song and get 10,000 hits. That's mm. crazy. Half of the industry that's hot right now is half retarded. Something wrong with them. These nuts, all them, all them motherfuckers, <laughs> my nigga. I said, you, you, you handicap, man. Like, come on, this ain't a sport of handicap. Let, let me ask you this. Uh-huh. Because it's a fine line between someone speaking the real with, with, with the way the world is set up and someone being bitter. Like, are, are you, like, upset or are you just giving a careful option? Like, you know, how do you tell people, like, yo, I'm not bitter, I don't feel a certain way, I'm just letting you know this is what it is. Nah, I could never, I, me, I could never be better. Whatever, whatever's popping, I'm popping. Mm. Like, 
I, I, I didn't come up here to say, like, fuck new artists, my nigga. Like, I love fucking Fresh. I love King Ball. I love yeah. M- yeah. A, a Young Ma. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love, like, the shit that the, the, the um, A Boogie. Yeah. Like, nigga, I love that shit, my nigga. Like, that's called, that's New York music to me. You can't deny New York good music. I just want more to love here. Like, I want to listen to the radio and hear 90 New York songs and 10 down south. I'm saying I go down south, my nigga, and they won't play one New York song. I mean, but the down south records are the hit records as of right now. But I'm saying you still go to the West Coast. Why is that? You still hearing fucking Mm. this is how we do it and shit. Why why is that? (laughs) What? Why is that? We New York. When I I was coming up and I went somewhere and I was so proud to say I'm from New York because the whole town would be like, yo, he from New York. We're going to call him New York. Yeah. Now you go out of town and say you from New York. That yeah, shit ain't. We don't give a fuck. Nah. You better pick somewhere else. Oh, nigga, I'm from Chicago. I told you know what I'm saying. All Toronto, the time. See? Yeah. I, but I like that though. I mean, if you told me that now, I'm like, word Toronto. Okay, it's cool. <laughs> Canada. You know what I'm saying? Which was terrible. Now you can't. Nigga. New York nigga is nobody, man. Mm. We got, we did that to ourselves though. We got to get it right. I mean, it's, I'm talking this to say never better, but. It's opportunity to get it right if we just talk about it. Fuck being politic and all that hip hop. I don't give a fuck about all that philosopher shit. On some street shit, some normal man shit, nigga. Let's fuck. Let's just do it. Let's just win again, my nigga. That's mm-hmm. it. And I mean, like, cause you know, Pow right here. It's my man for more than half a decade, and he's been able to pinpoint like artists on the rise, like out of nowhere. It's, it's amazing shit. He got a gift. He got a gift. Oh yeah, it's, that's it's amazing. It's, you know, some. What do you think it's gonna take for that for for people to embrace these new artists come, as a whole? Come like, up here and sit right next to him. That's a fact. Word. I mean, that's 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 a. What leader. do you think, pal? Like, what do you think? Because you think always called every artist. You just got a copycat fact. shit. Like when New York was like at its like peak, it was like whole clicks getting money. Fucking G Unit. Fucking. Dipset, Dipset, Terror Squad, like everyone had their mm-hmm. own shit and everyone was getting bread. And when it was at the peak, peak, like no one was stepping on each other's toes. Like everyone was, That's it. everyone was getting their own bread, and their own borough, and shit. well, look, every crew you named. Separated. Yeah, bad boy. You like, know what I'm saying? Every crew you name separated. I mean, that's so ne- inevitable <clears throat> now. When you, because there's no crew that's still well, other than D Block. Yeah. That's about it. That's about it, too. Or I man up. That's probably it. That's probably that's, it. You know, if I, I'm trying to think. But that's what it's going to take to get to the. To I love it, see, that's all. Yeah. Even B2K <laughs> broke up. <laughs> they matter in this conversation. Yeah. Nah, you're right. Shit. Shit. Then, then, yo, I mean. And love is what you're talking about. Why do you think? Because I've always said in New York. No one wants to look like a dick rider. So some like sometimes you don't want to be like, yo, this nigga jumping up. So we this town, we play the wait and see approach. Let's keep it real. Like, okay, I see you here. Let's and I noticed that in this town. <laughs> that's that that's here. That's, that, you're right, that's right now. But me, like, we when when I came out, artists showed each other love. Like, mm, I was out and I ran up to Rock Kim and I first I said, Yo, Rod, what up, man? I'm a fan. He said, you nigga, you royal flush. <laughs> and I'm like, words? You know right. who the fuck I am? Nowadays, if a nigga's hot, he don't even want to say what's up to you, my nigga. Or he think he's already higher than you, he's not even talking to you, man. Mm. Which is terrible. Like I said, the era of my era, we all talk. I don't give a fuck if it was G-Rap, my favorite rapper. Yo, flush. Yo, anybody. Nas, what up, flush? You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, niggas don't even talk to you, man. Niggas are, yo, holla at my man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I mean, you know how that's what's missing, though. These yeah, are, these are the little things that if niggas want to know the secret of what's missing, that's what's missing. Just them little things, them little elements right there. That ain't even nothing to do with music. That's just us being us. Like, what's what are some incredible moments you got in this game? Because <laughs> you 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 lived through like what two, maybe three eras of hip hop, and you're a young dude. You know what I'm saying, young man. So like, what are some moments you're like, yeah. I got to see this happen. I, I mean, I got, I, I did, a, I did a lot. I mean, you know, rest in peace. I did songs with Big L. I did songs with Old Dirty Bastard. I did songs with Big Pun. I did songs with Guru. So I mean, I, 
happy situation, man. I done been there, man. I done had so much fun in this hip-hop game, and I met so many people, man. I'm just, I'm enjoying life, man. Mm. I'm still a fan of this shit. We all are, man. Uh, like, who? Look at this. Oh, no, you I love that question. Who's that young, you, you name, dude, like, who's that young artist that when you hear on a track, you know, because I'm, I'm patiently waiting to hear what that new street record is going to be like from you and King Bo. When he, it's that knocking beat and slaves dropping the like the jail cells and the, the bullets <laughs> like like and, and you hear back door shouts out to Smith at midnight <laughs> while niggas is on their way to the strip club because I know that record is coming you, you know what I'm saying it's in the works you know that record that record is good, like I it's need to hear world. endless ammunition hitting the floor man nah I got it. <laughs> I got it. one thing like all the things I'm talking about I'm actually relating that in my new album. Mm. Okay. Says, so the name of my new album's called All Cards on the Table. I got the single out right now with me and Uncle Murder called Trap Like It's Legal. Oh, Murder. You know what I'm saying? It's, un- and it's hitting. It's everywhere. <laughs> so I'm working. The album's just crazy. It's crazy. And like I said, the shit I'm talking about, I'm enjoying myself talking about it. Never no hate. Mm. I'm comfortable. When I leave in, I'm going to jump inside a Maserati. You know? Just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're talking differently, man. I'm sorry. 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 I didn't mean to throw my what, what, car in there. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Were you from North Queens? Ah, oh, Flushing. Oh, Flushing? Word. Where the Asians are at? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my man. Because, you know, uh, you get certain parts of Queens, y'all stunt a little bit too smoothly. You know what I mean? I'm like, it's a Queens thing. Oh, you go. I mean, I could tell when I talk to them. I could tell everybody. I mean, yeah. you know how that shit is. You're like, I know one thing about a Queens girl. Most of them are like, the ones that I know are from Queens, they be like really dressed super fly, but subtle, fair skin, and they always got a car. Yeah, yeah. And they, and yeah. and then they always selling pussy on the low, 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 man. Yeah, it's a little, <laughs> they're they're low, they're low expensive. You're right though. <laughs> Not the price, but <laughs> oh, I caught one in St. Albans. Yo, that bitch was bad. I was like, what? True confessions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this bitch. I was like, yo, my nigga was like, yo, Dutch will tell you. He's like, yo, I was like, your pussy was amazing, my nigga. Queens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Queens. Queens. Talk about where you from, Flushing. Cause that, I'm that's, from Flushing. Yeah. I'm, I'm from, in Queens, I'm from like the middle of everywhere. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You got South Side, you got Jamaica on that side, and then you go to the other side, you got a story of Queensbridge Ravens with Long Island City. So mm-hmm. I'm like right in the middle of that. But I mean, where I came from, a flush, it was crazy. Because like we had beef with everybody. What everybody. Is that? Yeah. Because we had both angles. So mm-hmm. we went to a party on this side, Newtown, we want to go to Long Island. It's a beef. We went to Suffolk, it was a beef. So we had it rough, yeah. but. But we handle it though, you know. I mean, it's, you know, after a while, you know, I always tell people, man, you know, there's thorough dudes everywhere, and like I had to learn, like in Canada when I used to go out there, them dudes is like smooth gangsters. They wear the hard bottom shoes, <laughs> the, dress up, the dress up, and yeah. they light parties up. Like you touch, they they shooting you, my nigga. And I'm like, and they don't even lock their front doors out there. Huh, you can open the door. Like, oh, oh, pardon me, Vince. I'm here to get some sugar. Smith. <laughs> like, yo, shit is crazy. Respect. That was that respect level. Like, give, like you got a dope hip hop story for us? Like a dope experience before we close this album? I mean, I, I got a couple. Um, something that, like, you know, re- it don't even got to be crazy. It's just something that when you sit there, it's a great story uh, to tell when niggas is drinking the henny. You're right. I mean, cause I, I done did drink champs a couple times. So oh, okay. I oh, said a, I oh, said a couple. Got, oh, you let off the rockets. <laughs> nah, nah, but I, I'm gonna see. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna have some. Salute man. to Nori, man. Yo, I can't wait to see y'all. Man. Yeah, yo, drink champs, Smith and King Bo. Yes. Yo, my nigga, when you you call me, nigga, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Where are you calling this one? Yeah, so let's make that happen. Bro. Yeah. Yes, I do got that in the works. I mean, shit, that's my management team. We're going to do it. We're going to mm-hmm. do it. Definitely a new year for Flush, man. So get ready, y'all. I swear I'm doing it. Put mm-hmm. my numbers in. Royal Flush, yeah. man, representing for our town, New York City, man. 
hip hop active. Yes. You know, and it's different, man. I'm excited for the movement. I'm excited Appreciate because, it, you know, young dudes are like, yo, who is this? All right, let's give it a chance now because everybody else is promoting the music, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's the internet now. They just look stuff up, uh, so they'll see, like, mm -hmm. the whole I mean, I could talk thing. about that shit, but I should, if that's something they're using, I'm going to learn how to master that shit. <clears throat> like I said, I love these new styles, nigga. All I do is take their beats and master them and body <laughs> that shit. I make sense on your shit. Your shit hot, I'm going to show you how to make sense on it. Man. That's man. all. How you enjoying bagging bitches? Oh, I don't know if you're married, my bad. I'm married. Oh, okay. I'm married. I'm I'm married. married. He always gets caught with that shit. No, no I was no, like, I'm about no, to talk no, regular. Like, she's like, yo, I got. Nah, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't bag on. I mean, whatever my wife bag is, is comfortable for us. <laughs> this is fifty dot com scumbag season royal flush. There's nothing left to be said. Backdoor movement, Smith Kingbo yeah, royal flush. Minhead, thank you, thank you. Let's do it. And then oh, before we close it out. Yo, make sure Pal TV with that stage that you and and Smith got going on, man. Oh yeah, yeah, we got the South by Southwest stage with Backdoor Woo! Movements coming up. You know what I'm saying. Hold on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I got 360 Life. It's a web series coming out. I'm the star of that shit. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's coming out New Year's. Get ready for it. 360 Life. You gonna see us on there, right. man. So Just I make sure it. I die in the web series. <laughs> man. That's it, man. <laughs>